What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about two things that you can use to increase your quad size. These two things involve zero weights. So the first thing is a BFR band. A BFR means blood flow restriction. You can easily get one of these on Amazon. So a study is uh, done with about 12 to 14 participants. Uh, some group wearing the BFR bands and the other group not wearing the BFR bands. Both group did about they did the exact same workouts, rest routines, and all kinds of stuff for about eight weeks. At the end of the eight-week program, it shows that the people who actually wore this band increase in muscle size and strength capacity. I mean, and strength. So it increases in size and strength just by simply wearing this in comparison to the group who didn't wear it. The group who didn't wear the bands did not gain as much as the people who wore the bands. What that means is that this is a very effective method of growing your quads if you have stalled, if maybe you don't work out as much, if you have back issues, if you have knee pains and all kinds of things, you're still trying to grow your quads, this is a very effective method. Uh, you can use this by doing any kind of workouts or just by simply walking on your treadmill. If you don't have a treadmill, you can walk uphill. Uh, if not, if you have a cycling machine, cycling machine is gonna be a very, very effective way by uh, building your quads, even without bands or anything, but with the bands, it makes it so much easier to build your quads by doing that. Now, the thing is that walking on the treadmill alone with a BFR band will get you some size. But if you wanna, you know, get a, a monster truck, monster truck, you know what I'm saying, like a monster quad, you're gonna have to lift. You know, you're gonna have to do some kind of leg exercise, like leg extension, squat, uh, deadlift. Maybe not so much deadlift. Uh, but something that is quad dominant, you know, quad and hamstring dominant. That's the kind of exercise you want to do when using this. But either way, even if you don't have any kind of weights at all, you can still work on incline on the treadmill. If you don't have a treadmill, you can walk uphill. There's some kind of hill here, you know, anywhere in, in where you are. You can do that. You can cycle if you have a cycling machine. Or you can just work out with this. You are guaranteed to be more size. The second thing you need is an EMS system. EMS means electronic muscle stimulator. You can buy, you can easily buy one of these on, on Amazon. Sometimes you see them called TENS unit or EMS, whatever. They, they do the same thing, you know. You want to wear those at the same time while you're wearing the bands. Even just sitting on your couch alone, this will stimulate more muscle damage. Muscle damage equals more muscle growth because when the muscle is damaged, when it repairs, it's gonna grow stronger and bigger. Assuming you're eating you know, all your normal proteins and carbs and fats and all that stuff. So, once again, a BFR band, low flow restriction band, you can easily get this on Amazon, and an EMS unit. Just by using this alone, along with your daily activities, uh, daily, uh, fitness activities such as walking uh, the treadmill, doing a cycling machine, or you know squatting or doing any kind of leg exercise is guaranteed to increase leg size by practicing BFR. Now the thing is you don't want to use a BFR all the time because the muscles uh, you want to, this will restrict some blood flow into the muscles which means that the muscles will not be as Oxygen, oxygenated as much as they need to be. So you want to do this maybe um, your first workout of the day, uh, your first leg session of the day, or maybe you want to use this just maybe once every other week, depending on how you like to use, uh, depending on how fast you know you want to see uh, results. But once again, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I got more content coming up. As you can see, I'm trying to be more consistent with YouTube videos. Next thing I will talk about, I don't know yet, but there's a video coming soon. Stay tuned.